Hello everyone, it's the Dutch on Foremaster and welcome to a new The Sims 4 renovation video. So today I'm renovating a house that has been sent in by one of my viewers and I think that in the end it turned out to look pretty nice. Um, as you see the house looked kind of boring in the start, uh, not to offend anyone, but of course uh, some renovation could be done if you're honest. And of course the maker of this house thought the same because you ran he or she actually uh, submitted this house uh, using hashtag Dutchams for Master Reno. So um, yeah, I've actually done what they wanted me to do, renovate the house and I think in the end it turned out to be pretty nice. I changed quite much of the house because the shape really could uh, use a renovation in this case. The colors were pretty nice and the roofing, yeah, the idea or the style behind the roofing was very good too. But I thought the, um, the shape just really could use a renovation. So I've decided to actually do that and I think in the end it turned out to be um, yeah, something different than I normally build actually. Normally I build something that's quite modern but uh, this is kind of urban because of the uh, redstone wall painting that I used or that the official maker used and I decided to leave in the house. Um, and also the uh, wall paintings are actually things that I uh, decided to uh, leave the same. Uh, this person actually used like a salmon colored uh, wall painting which I would personally never go for but actually it did look kind of nice in this uh, Oasis Springs environment. In uh, Willow Creek this looks like very bright which I personally don't think, yeah it's just way too pink for me but um, in this case it looks like kind of salmon color and I think it's okay to actually use that color. You know, well, it's okay to use every color, but in this case, I just like the look of the color too. Um, so for those of you who've like just subscribed to my channel and don't know what this series is, it's a series in which I renovate houses that have been sent in by my viewers. They uh, think that their house can actually use a renovation and they wanted me to actually renovate it so they can submit their house and you can also submit your house using hashtag Dutchens for Master Reno and then um, you put just you put that hashtag in the description of a house that you upload to the gallery and then I'll look at a house and maybe renovate it if I think well this could use a renovation or well I'm you know in the mood to actually renovate something in this style and I think this house fits with that and then maybe you'll see it back in a video like this one so um there are I think we can say that there's one requirement the house should not be too big so I think uh, the maximum size is a 30 by 20 or the other way around doesn't really matter but something like that or smaller or um, because otherwise it takes way too long to actually build a house and uh, my challenge behind the renovation series is that I try to not change the house too much but still make it look nice and uh, because of that I've decided to actually make a time limit of uh, one hour and in that hour I have to actually renovate the house which is um, uh, so I actually don't change it too much because if I'm working on it for two hours I'm very likely to have just changed the house way too much which is what I and the viewers don't want so that's a kind of the um, only requirement of the house and then that's basically it. Uh, submitted using that hashtag. That's the only way I actually accept uh, submissions. Not via Twitter or anything. Because uh, once I got like a submission on Twitter. And this person said well I can't. Yeah I don't know what he said. He had a, a reason. But you know I can't remember all the names of the houses to search them. So if you don't submit it using that hashtag. You will just never see it in the series probably. So just submit it. Um, of course you can follow me on, uh, on Twitter for something different than submitting houses um, because I just you know tweet so now and then and post houses of new speed builds and new renovation videos and stuff so maybe that's nice if you like to um, yeah, be on Twitter so now and then so um, yeah, as I said this house turned out to be kind of urban looking as you can see with the red colored uh, wall painting and the salmon color I think in the end it really turned out to look pretty nice um, and the garden yeah it's just something very basic nothing too special but I think yeah it was okay for this house it's just basic and that's you know it's also kind of in the basic area of Oasis Springs nothing too fancy um, so I didn't go for something too fancy either in the landscaping and just the shape of the house as you can see is just normal it's like a normal house actually which I don't often build often I build like the huge mansions or the luxurious modern houses but in this case I didn't by the way um, lately it was Christmas well in the case um, of which I'm recording this it was yesterday actually 
um, you know, the, we have two Christmas days here in Holland, I believe, because I talked about it in my Christmas video. Many people um, said that they have two Christmas days, two in their country, but not like as official as we have it here. But um, this is what you would say the third, but it's not official. It's just, um, you know, you could say it's the day after Christmas. So I'm recording this if you would like to still see a, a Christmas house. Um, then uh, you can actually check it out. It's on my channel. It's the Christmas house. And it actually turned out to be freaking awesome, I think. Um, I really like the speed build. The house just looks like very de de detailed. I used like very many uh, Christmas de uh, decoration items. And I think in the end it really turned out to be pretty awesome. So, um, yeah, if you would like to check that out, you can actually do that. Um, so let me see. Um, oh, something else I would like to know, um, mention is the fact that I don't actually renovate the interior of any house and because that takes like way too much time and I personally am not really good at renovating interiors or making interiors at all. So I thought, you know, I can better not renovate them actually and it takes just way more time to actually renovate that. So I've decided to not do that. Um, so this house is on the gallery. You can download it, but there's no interior in there. So you can add that yourself or something, but... I'm not renovating it, um, so sorry if you do like that, but I've not done that this time. Um, as you can see here, I've actually started the landscaping, which is something I do actually do. And um, yeah, it's nothing too fancy, as I said before. Just adding a new yeah, new kind of stone over there, which I'd never used before, but I thought, you know, it looks pretty cool. Maybe it's nice to check it out. In the end, by the way, of this video, there is like a, um, a shot to actually see the difference between the um, the pre-status and the after-status of the house before and after re uh, renovating it. So um, that's something that people uh, suggested me to actually do. And uh, yeah, I often did it, but sometimes I actually forget to edit. But in this case, I didn't. So I think there we go. Yes, here we go. As you can see, this is what the house looked like. And this is what it is now. Quite a big difference, but I think, yeah, it's a good difference. So I hope you like it too, creator of the uh, official house. And I hope the viewers like to watch the video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you back later.